the happy land of promise over in the great beyond where the Savior birth shall sing for the share where the souls of men shall enter and live on forevermore everybody will be happy over there And who kept us by his grace Who brought us to that land by the fair We will praise his name forever As we look upon his face Everybody will be happy over there Oh, everybody will be happy We'll be happy over there We will shout be for us to bear all the people will be singing glory glory to the lamb everybody will be happy over there oh yeah. everybody will be happy we'll be happy over there yeah, we, we will shout and sing god's praises everybody will be happy over there
and I gave you peace. Didn't I run to your rescue? Didn't I hear you when you called? I walked right beside you just so you wouldn't fall. Take a look behind you and see how far you've come. Every time that you ask me, did I deliver you? So why would I be thinking? Wouldn't see you through? He said, I walked on the water, I calmed the raging sea. Praising that he allowed me to be here once again. Thank him for his mercies each and every day. You know, sometimes we forget that when we wake up is a blessing. When we wake up in the morning, we see the sunshine, we take our first breath. That's a blessing. One of the little blessings we take for granted. I don't want to ever take for granted what the Lord's done for me. But sitting over this old song come to mind about being safe within the arms of Jesus. I don't know where I'd be if I wasn't in the arms of Jesus tonight, Brother Mitchell. Just listen to the words of it. Say, old time preacher man, now have you got a plan for this whole world's just about to drive me crazy. Oh, now I'm afraid to die. And I don't know how to live here. Then he picked up his worn out Bible and he said, I'm safe within the arms of Jesus. I'm held like a mother holds her babe. Still safe within. Of Jesus, and I will leave when He calls me away. Now, old time preacher man, can you help me understand? Oh, what you've got that's always got you smiling. Oh, see, I'm afraid to die And I don't know how to live here That's when he picked up his worn-out Bible And he said Lord, I'm safe within The arms of Jesus I'm held like a mother I'm still safe within the arms of Jesus, and I will leave when He calls me away. Now, old time preacher man, oh, now have you got a plan? See, for this whole world's just about to drive me crazy. Oh, now I'm afraid to die. And I don't know how to live here. That's when he picked up his worn-out Bible. And he said, 
Lord, I'm safe within the arms of Jesus. I'm held like a mother holds her babe. I'm still safe within the arms of Jesus. I will leave when He calls me away. Oh, now, old time preacher man, can you help me understand all oh, of what you've got that's always got you smiling? Oh, cause I'm afraid to die. His worn out Bible and he said, Lord, I'm safe within the arms of Jesus. I'm held like a mother holds her babe. I'm safe within the arms of Jesus. I will leave when He calls me away. Yes, I'm safe within the arms of Jesus. I'm held like a mother holds her babe. Still safe within. Now tell me, have you got a plan? See, for this old world's just about to drive me crazy. Oh, now I'm afraid to die. And I don't know how to live here. But he picked up his worn out Bible and he said, I'm safe within the arms of Jesus. I held my cup of her holes, her babe, still safe within the arms of Jesus. And I will leave when he calls. Lord, I'm safe within the arms of Jesus. Help my mother holds her baby. Still safe within the arms of Jesus. The Bible said in verse number 5, And it was told the king of Egypt that the people fled, and the heart of Pharaoh of his servants and of his servants was turned against the people. And they said, Why have we done this, that we have let Israel go from serving us? And he made ready his chariots and took his people with him, the Bible said in verse number 7, And he took 600 chosen chariots and all, the ch and, out, and all the chariots of Egypt and captains over every one of them. Verse number 8 said, And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. The Bible said, But the Egyptians pursued after them all the horses and chariots of Pharaoh, 
and his horsemen and his army and overtook them encamping by the sea. And when Pharaoh drew near, the children of Israel lift up their eyes and behold, the Egyptians marched after them and they were sore afraid. And the children of Israel cried out unto the Lord. And said, and they said unto Moses, Because there were no graves in Egypt, hast thou taken us away to die? Because there were no graves in Egypt, hast thou taken us away to die in the wilderness? I like this. And it said, And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. And it went on and said, And the Lord shall fight for you. (laughs) You don't have to fight, guys, because the Lord is going to fight for you. Somebody ought to say amen to that. Thank you, David. You don't have to fight tonight because if you're on the winning side, all you got to do is stand still because the Lord is going to come to your rescue and He's going to fight your battles. Thank you, God. And the Lord shall fight for you and ye shall hold your peace. And the Bible said, And the Lord said unto Moses, Wherefore Christ thou unto me, Speak unto the children of Israel that they go forward. I thank God tonight. But he said, But lift up thine rod, and stretch out thine hand over the sea, and divide it. And the children of Israel shall go on dry ground through the midst of the sea. Through the midst of the sea. Even though the sea is there in our life, and we can see it, Even though it's there in our life. Even though trouble is there, Brian. And we can see it and we thank God. I've come to the end of my road. I cannot go any farther. I can see the deadline. And they just ain't no way through. But do you remember what the Lord said? He said to stand still and to see the salvation of the Lord. And you know what happens? You guys know the story as good as I do. And it said, And I behead, behold, and I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians, and they follow, shall follow them. And I would get me an honor upon uh, Pharaoh, and upon all of his host, upon his chariots, and upon his horsemen. I know I'm reading a lot tonight, guys, but I don't want to leave you without. And the Bible said, And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord. Come on, sometimes we just need to let the devil know that he is our God, uh, that he's not going to lead us out of trouble to get us in a place to cause us to go in under, uh, but he's going to make a way when there seem to be no way. And the Bible said, and the angel of God, <laughs> and the Bible said, and the angel of God, which, listen, listen to me good, and the angel of God, which went before the camp of Israel, went before the camp of Israel, removed and went behind them, and the pillar of the cloud went from before their faces and stood behind them. And the Bible said, and it came between the camp. It was a cloud of darkness to them. A cloud of darkness, Desmond, to them. But it gave light by night to those, to these, so that the one came not near the other all the night. And the Bible said, And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. And the Lord caused the sea to go back by a strong east wind. And all, and the Bible said, all that night, all that night, and made the sea dry land. And the Bible said, and the waters were divided. They thought there was no way through. I'd, I'd been better off to just fell in the hands of the Egyptians 
and been their slave, in other words, and done whatever they told me to do because you brought me out here to die. Come on, guys. You brought me. Why did I even run? Why did I even follow you? I've come to the end and I'm going to go in under. Why did I even follow you? I don't know about you guys tonight, but there's been times, John, in my walk with the Lord that I've wondered, God, why have I even followed you? Are we too good to say that tonight? Let's be honest. There's been times in my life, Desmond, that I've said, God, why did I even follow you? You brought me up to the crossroads. And now I don't know which direction to turn. You brought me up to the end of the road. And there is no way out. God, why did I even follow you? I feel like somebody's in that place today. Asking the Lord, God, why did I even follow you? Lord, why did I even follow you? I was doing good, good enough where I was at. I was satisfied, God, where I was at. But I followed you. And I'm not, going, I'm not doing any better. I'm not growing. I'm not getting any better. And I'm just about at the end of my robe, Desmond, and I'm about ready to die. How the enemy's on my trail. He's catching up. I'm looking back. Thank you, sissy. I'm looking back. And he's catching up. He's getting close to a minute after minute after minute. And there is nowhere to go. I'm facing the sea this way. I'm facing the army this way. Now, God, what am I going to do? Thank God for Moses. I thank God for Moses. Thank God. And the Bible said, and Moses stretched out his hand. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. And the Egyptians pursued and went after them in, in, uh, to the midst of the sea. Even all Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. Bible said, and it came to pass that in the morning watch the Lord looked upon the host of the Egyptians through through the pillow of fire. <laughs> the Lord can see beyond trouble, can he? He can see beyond anything. But it said that he looked through the pillow of fire. Thank God. And of the cloud and troubled the host of the Egyptians. Thank you, Lord. And took off their chariot wheels that they drave them heavily so that the Egyptians said, Let us flee from the face of Israel. For the Lord fighteth for them against the Egyptians. And the Bible said, And the Lord said unto Moses, Stretch out thine hand over the waters, over the sea, that the waters may come again upon the Egyptians, upon the chariots, and upon the horsemen. And Moses again stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea a return to his strength. When the morning appeared, and the Egyptians fled again against it. And the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. And the waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and all the host. And Pharaoh that came into the sea after them. There remained not so, so much as one of them. Not one of them remained. In the Bible said, but the children of Israel walked upon dry a land in the midst of the sea. And the waters were a wall under them uh, their right hand and on their left hand. And the Bible said, thus the Lord saved Israel that day out of the hand of the Egyptians. And Israel saw the Egyptians dead up on the seashore. What are you telling me tonight? I'm telling us that sometimes when the Lord sends somebody to run to your rescue, or he comes himself or sends an angel to come to your rescue, and you got right out in the middle, you went as far as you think you can go, and you thank God I know that you came to my rescue. Help me tonight, Holy Ghost. God, I know that you came to my rescue. 
Now why, God, would my back be up against the army of the devil? And why would my face be up against the wall of a sea of water or against a flood, against anything, a sea of water? And there is no way out. You ever been there? I don't know about you, Bill Buckles, but I've been in predicaments before that I thought, God, this is it. This is it, David. There is no way out. I know, God, you can do anything. Oh, but they're coming. The enemy's coming. He's on my trail. He's getting closer and closer and closer. And there is no way out. God, what am I going to do? You hang on just a minute. This is the way I like to imagine the Lord. I, I like to put this in my own words if I can. You hang on just a minute, Desmond. You wait a minute now. The Bible said, Moses said unto the people, Fear not. Huh? Don't you be afraid. Huh? In other words, I've not brought you this far to watch you go down. Huh? Come on. I've not brought you this far to watch you die in a heated battle. I've not brought you out of drugs, out of alcohol, out of, out of pornography. I've not brought you out of all of the troubles that I've brought you out of to watch you die. Come on. Oh, but the Lord telling us tonight, don't you be afraid. Oh, the enemy is just telling you that there ain't no way through there. How the enemy is just telling you guys, he's just putting it in your mind that you've came up to the, the, to the sea and there ain't no way across. But Moses said, hey boys, he said, you just wait a minute. Don't you be afraid. Fear not. He said, fear not. He said, to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord of the Lord come on thank you mighty Lord let me back up and find one thing let me go back and read this one more time in the, in the fourth verse it said and I will harden Pharaoh's heart that he shall follow after them and I will be honored uh, uh, upon Pharaoh and upon all of his host that the Egyptians may know that I am the Lord that I am the Lord listen sometimes the Lord just likes to work when nothing else will that old song said I used to try to sing it said God likes to work when nothing else will you've been to the doctor and he just shook his head You've been to the banker and he said no. And you've been everywhere else and they said no. I ain't got the answer. How can I tell us tonight to turn around and to face the sea that you're facing and to face the trouble that you're facing and don't look at what's behind you and trust God to come like a flood and a part of the sea that's holding you in place. You know what he'll do to you guys? He'll say, hey, Moses stretched out that rod over the sea. I like to imagine in my mind, I can't, but I like to imagine in my mind, all of a sudden these big clouds begin to roll up and twirl and twist and tumble and, and just twist and turn up and the waters begin to rip up and roar. I like to imagine this David up in my mind. You guys ever been to the ocean before up and seen that big body of water up and you think it's impossible up to ever get through that up and there ain't no way across it up but thank God tonight up I don't know about you up but I've been to the sea before up I've been to the, I've been by my back uh, has been up against the wall uh, and I said, God, there ain't no way uh, for me to get through this. But all of a sudden there was something stirred up and came alive in me, Dorothy, and said, Mitchell, if you'll just stand still, if you'll just wait a little while longer, 
Mitchell, don't you give up yet. Uh, don't you get tired of fighting now. Uh, Brian Miller, don't you get tired of fighting now. Uh, Logan, don't you get tired of uh, fighting. John, don't you get tired of uh, running. There's nowhere else to run. Uh, and you run as far as you can go. And if God don't show up, uh, uh, the enemy is going to take you under. Uh, so you have to have God on your side. Can't make it any other way. If you don't trust him, you're going to get defeated. Huh? If Moses hadn't trusted the voice of the Lord enough, I went and said to stretch out your hand, guess what would happen? How the army, the Egyptians would have come along and they would have slew them. They'd have took them back and they'd have been their servants. Come on. But somebody listened to the voice of the Lord. You wait a minute. Don't they don't need you being afraid? Ain't no need you being afraid, Homer. You just stand still. You just stand still. This is my favorite part, guys. You just stand still, Carolyn, and see the salvation of the Lord. I see the salvation of the Lord. How, what, what are you saying, Mitchell? I'm saying well, that when nothing else has worked for you and everything else has went wrong, if you'll just stop for a few minutes and realize that you've been as far and you went as far and you tried everything else and there ain't nothing else you can do and your back's up against the wall and you're facing a sea and trouble's about to at your butt and you don't know what to do, you ain't got no other choice but to trust God to be God. He can make a way when there ain't one. Ain't that what the old song said? Oh, but he can make a way when there ain't one. Thank God he can speak to the winds and cause them to lay down. How he can speak to the fish and cause it to come up and bite the hook of a man how that needed the money to pay his taxes and open up his mouth and there laid the money. He can cause an axe head to come floating up or not just floating but come swimming up out of the water. He can cause the lame man to jump to his feet and run with joy. He can cause the blinded eyes to open up. He can stand before the grave of a dead man named Lazarus and call out Lazarus to come up out of that grave and all of a sudden power and demonstration and life came into that situation and God God is the only way. Only way. How do you know that? I, I listen, Lazarus would have still been dead had it not been for the Lord. What do you mean? I tell you, because he said, I am the resurrection. I know that he's going to rise again in the last day in the resurrection. I understand that. My, if you'd have been here, my brother wouldn't have died. Oh, but he's not dead. He's going to rise again. Huh? I don't understand. Yeah. Yeah, I know he will, Lord. Huh? I like to imagine this with kind of a smart attitude. Probably not. But I understand that, Lord, in the resurrection, he's going to get up. But I'd like to imagine this. But you and him were friends. You guys were best buds. And he died. Oh, but wait a minute. Wait a minute. You don't understand. I am the resurrection take me to where you put him you take me to where it's at it ain't over yet huh come on guys it ain't over yet standing before that grave running back his shoulders looking up into heaven and saying god don't you fail me now huh can you imagine that i'm putting this in my words guys Looking up into heaven and saying, God, don't you fail me now. Hey, Lazarus, come up out of there. Thank God. Hey, hey, Lazarus, come up out of there. I'd like to imagine something got somebody's attention. Oh, did you hear that? Did you hear that? I heard something. I heard something, Desmond. I heard something moving in there. Oh, it's getting louder, David. It's getting louder. Oh, there it comes. There it comes. I can't believe it. It's him. He's alive. You know what he said? 
to the grave clothes, lose him. Huh? He ain't no need in having them on him. Take them off of him. He's not dead. He's alive. What, what am I saying? I'm not getting off of my subject. I'm telling us that even though it looks like it's impossible in your life and you think there is no way out of this, there's no way, there's not an answer, there's not a cure. There, it's just impossible. I've come to the end of my robe. I can't go no farther. I've done all that I know to do, and I just don't know what else to do. I've turned to mom, and mommy didn't have the answer. I've turned to daddy, and daddy didn't have the answer. I've turned to grandma, grandpa, and they didn't have the answer. I've turned to my church, and they didn't have the answer. Can I tell you tonight that the answer lies in you? And you know what it is? It is will. You accept God to be the God of your life and stand still and see the salvation of God take control in your life. Glory to God. I feel like with all of my heart, David Miller, that somebody has run as far as they could possibly go. I believe I'm on the right track. I believe that. With all my heart, somebody, if you will, come on up to the piano. I ain't going to keep you very long, maybe. Thank you, God. I've been there before, guys. I've not always been a preacher. I've not always run with a smile on my face. There's times that I walk with a frown that I didn't care if I ever woke up to the next morning or not. There's times that I had so much depression in my life that I was so depressed that I didn't roll out of the bed the next day. That I'd cover my head up and I'd go back to sleep. And I just didn't want to see the daylight. You've been there, Mitchell? Yeah. I promise you I've been there. There's a time in my life, Melissa can tell you, that I was on depression medicine. I didn't want to talk to nobody. I didn't want to go outside the house. I didn't want, I didn't be, want to be around nobody. My back was against the wall. Bill Buckles and the devil was a nipping at my tail. Oh, come on, guys. That's all that it boils down to be. The devil was after me. And I'd run every which way that was open. I'd run. And there was no way out. There was no way out. You know what I found out? Let me tell you what caused all this. I'm going to be honest with you. You want me to tell you what caused every bit of this? God called me to preach. I said, no, God. No. No. Can't. Ain't gonna do it. I can't. I ain't able. Can't do it. You will. You will. He left me alone for a while. I'm not saying left me alone, but he quit bugging me. Okay? I got so miserable. I didn't want to be around nobody. Nobody. God knows I'm telling you the truth. Didn't have no friends. Didn't want none. Didn't care the sun rose the next day. But I had to come to a place in my life, Desmond, that God, I cannot handle this no more. I prayed for God to take me out of this world. I'm talking to you. Listen to me well. I pray, God, just take me. You ain't got no use for me. I can't do this. I've run as far as I can go. I run into a wall this way, and I run into a river the other way, and there ain't no way to go. God, I don't know what else to do. I don't know what else to do. You know what I heard him say? You know what I heard him say? Fear not. Fear not. Mitchell, I believe he called me by my name, Jacob, and said, Mitchell, just don't be afraid. You just stand still. And let me come in. Let me do it. You don't have to do this. I'll do it for you. Just give me the okay. And I'll take care of it. I believe this with all my heart, guys. I remember a night I came to this church right here. So depressed that I could not stand it. I was on depression medicine. Took one. It didn't do no good. But I took one. My body got immune to it. I took another. My body got immune to it. I went back. They changed it and got on another one. Next thing I know, I was taking one and a half. Next thing I know, I was taking two. 
and it wasn't doing me no good. I was in the same boat. Done me good for a while, but I got used to it. Next thing I know, I was in the same boat again. And you know what? I thought, God, I'm going to, I'm still, I'm going to fail. I'm still going to go under. Even though I tried this, the doctor says it's good. Doctor said, I can help you. I can take control of this situation. And I can help you. Let me help you. Didn't do me no good, Desmond. I still woke up grieved in my heart. Why? Because I was running from the Lord. I was running from God. You know what I did one night? I'll never forget it as long as I live. I walked through them doors. I sat back here. And I listened. And all of a sudden, somebody gave an altar. Uh, an invitation to be prayed for I got up and I came up here and nobody knew what they was praying for me about I didn't tell nobody nobody there sits my wife they laid their hands on me the elders of the church and everybody else and they begin to pray and they begin to pray a prayer of faith that said that if we anoint him with oil and believe this that it has to be done right do you agree with me I had enough of God in me, Desmond, that I went home. And on my way home, my mind was turning a thousand miles a minute. What are you going to do now? You went up there and got prayed for. They don't even know why. Now what are you going to do? You ain't done nothing but made a dummy out of yourself. You're going to wake up in the morning in the same shape you woke up this morning. You know what I did? I said, not in the morning, devil. Not in the morning. No, not in the morning. My wife will tell you, I'm telling you the same thing. I walked into my house. I walked over to that cabinet. I got them bottles, that bottles of pills out. And one by one, ka thump, thud, 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 thud. Right down the commode. And I flushed that commode. Devil saying all the time, you better not do that. You've got to have that. You'll be the most miserable man that ever lived. If you do that, you cannot make it without that. Don't do it. You know what I said in my spirit? I said, enemy, I've tried everything that you've led me to. And it's led me in the wrong direction. And now the only thing that I know to do is to know do what's been embedded in me ever since I was a little bitty boy. And that's to stand still and let God do all the work. God, here I am. I can't do nothing. I'm going to let you do it all. And you know what I did the next morning? Melissa, I'll tell you, I'm telling you the truth. She said, honey, you cannot do that. You cannot come off of them that way. You cannot do it. And I thought, oh, yes, I can. Because I'm not doing it in myself. She didn't know that. The next morning I got up. I done what I told John to do the other day. I told him, I said, when you get up in the morning, you fall on your knees. And you say today, God, I want to start my walk off with you. Right in the middle of my life. And you know what I did, Carl? Not one time through that day did I hear the knock of the devil saying, hey, you better run back yonder and to the doctor and get you another prescription because you know why? I started off my day right. And I said, God, it takes you. You said you would. I ain't got nowhere else to go. God, what am I going to do? I'm going to stand still. I'm going to stand still, Desmond. That old song said, just stand still. And let God move. Just stand still. You mean He can do that? Yeah, the salvation of the Lord. What does that mean? It means that He's going to rescue you. It means that wherever you are right now, sitting and under the sound of my voice, that when you call out and say, God, I went as far as I can go. My back's to the wall. The enemy's on my trail. And I'm facing a sea in my life and there is no way through I've got nowhere else to go you know what that means stand still and see the salvation of the Lord it means I promise you Lord speaking to you I promise you tonight at Seven Pines Pentecostal Church that if you'll call out on me I will not let you go down and under that I'll come to you wherever you are and I'll pick you up out of the mud and the muck and the mire and I'll dust you off and put you on dry ground. 
Do you guys know that even though the waters were parted and the seas began to come back as a wall on each side, I, I believe with all my heart that these guys didn't have to be in no hurry. I believe they didn't have to be in no hurry. There wasn't a time limit on it, Desmond. They could get across. I know you're tired. I know you're weary. I know you're weak. And I know you're wore out from your journey. Huh? Just come on across. Huh? Just come on across. I'd like for you tonight to close your eyes with me for a moment. And imagine in your mind, on your right side and on your left side, a wall. That river, that flood, that sea that you're facing, that there is no way across. I'd like for you to imagine the power and the presence of the, the anointing of God so strong in this house tonight that a whirlwind comes by and whips up that water and rolls it over to the right side. Rolls it over to the left side. Moses goes across, or the Lord goes across. Not only across there, but standing right down deep in the middle of the Red Sea. There he stands today, saying, all you got to do is get up and come. All you got to do, Desmond, is just get up and come to me. God, in the name of Jesus, God, speak to the heart. God, I know that there's people sitting in under my voice tonight, God, that feel like they went as far as they can go. God, I'd like for you to speak to their hearts tonight and let them know that no matter what they're facing, no matter what they're facing, that all they got to do is stand still and let you come to the rescue. But all they've got to do is say, God, right here I am. You got to tell God where you're at. Friend, you got to tell God where you're at. You know what I did that night? I told God, I said, hey, God. I'm in the worst depressed state in my life. I, God, I'm in a shape that I'm having to take a depression medicine. One didn't do it. Two didn't do it. Now, I'm taking more, multiple, two times a day. And it didn't do no good. God, I'm in this kind of a shape. Lord, I need you to deliver me. I need you, God, to deliver me. See, I had to tell him where I was at. I had to tell him, David, what kind of state I was in. You got to tell him tonight, if you're lost and undone without God, and you ain't got no joy in your life, and you don't know who he is in your life, you've got to tell him what kind of state you're in. And all you got to do is say, hey, hey, God, I, I'm the one sitting over in the corner. Call out your name to him. Say, I'm so-and-so. I'm lost, God, and I need you. Everybody that will, stand to your feet if you will. Saints of God, I want you to pray with me. I feel, I feel God dealing with somebody's heart. Desmond, I feel the tug. I feel the tug of the Master's hand. Can I tell us today that the only way that we can be saved is if we feel that tug and we answer that call. We say, God, come into my life. You better come today. You better come today. Listen, He will part your seas. He will knock down your walls. The walls of Jericho, there was no way. There was no way around them. Couldn't go over it. Couldn't go around it. Couldn't go in under it. Do you know what? You know what God says? I don't have to look for a way around it. I don't have to look for a way and under it. I don't have to look for a way and over it. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go through it. I'm going to tear it down. Whatever is standing before me today, I'm not going to turn around and run. I'm not going to turn around and run. I'm going to go through it. Would you say that with me tonight, Seven Pines? I'm not going to run. I'm going through it. God made a way for them. He's making the same way for you tonight. What is that, Mitchell? It's him standing at this altar, open-armed. I am the way. I am the door. I am the truth. I am the life. It takes me. It takes the blood of Jesus Christ. Would you come? I don't want to linger on. Would you come? Please, I beg you to come. 
You've run as far as you can go. There's nowhere else to run. You might as well come to Jesus. Sang Andrew, come to Jesus. There's no use trying to hide it from your eyes. Please, I beg you to pray. Come on, guys, There's and pray. There's no use wearing a disguise for you seeing me. Lord, Would you come tonight? Would you please come? Let God be the God of your life. Finish your troubles. No more worries. No more heartaches. You don't have to stay where you are. You can come out of there with victory tonight. In the name of Jesus. Just to get to you. And I'll get down on my knees at the foot of Calvary. And declare so openly. This time, Lord, I'll serve you honestly. Yes, God. Would you pray? For Come to this altar tonight. Give God your life. Just pretend. Give God your heart. Plastic heart. He loves you enough that he went to Calvary. No peace Sent his only begotten son. So and all you have to do is come and say, God, I'm sorry. For my sin. Very hang on an old rugged cross, bleeding, bleeding for you and I tonight. Would you come? Let him be the Lord of your life. I beg you. Go down Please come. Times. Tree, I'll leave and climb. Yes, God. I'll leave and tear the roof yes, off. Yes, God. Just to get to you. And I'll get down on my knees. At the foot oh, of Calvary And declare so openly This time I will serve you honestly Oh yes, I get my brother Please come Let Jesus be the God of Always your life Always live a life Though it was Lord, I love you, Jesus What would I do without you, Plastic God? heart is signed with no peace within but i stepped out from the darkness and lord i've opened up Thank my heart revealing Thank all you, the secrets God, in you bless sin. You. and i'll go down seven yes, times the tree i'll leave and climb yes, God. i'll leave and tear the roof off just to get to you. I'll do anything you. that it takes, God. I'll get down on God, I'll do my anything. knees at Just the to foot of Calvary. Would you come tonight? And Would you come? So I beg you. Openly. If you want a this better day tomorrow, serve you, you got to start out right today. Let God be the God of your life. I beg you, come. In Jesus' name. Thank you, mighty Savior. There's no use in trying to hide Thank it from you, your eyes. There's no use in wearing a disguise for you seeing me. A lot of Pharisee, I'm trying to be as honest as I can. And I'll go down seven times This tree I'll leave and climb I'll leave and tear the roof off Just to get to you And I'll get down on my knees At the foot of Calvary And declare so openly This time, Lord, I'll serve you Sleep. 